I'd like to share with you five things that I think might help you create better in no particular order. Number one, think of your reality as a reality and not the reality. Your reality is not set in stone. There's several different ways that you can achieve anything, several different realities that you can enter into. Anytime you have an imagination of you in a different place, that's real. That's re it's another reality, but you can enter that reality. Number two, see your imagination as a true reality. There's a path there. There's a path that you can take to get to that, whatever it was that you saw in your imagination. You can imagine yourself to be anything or to do anything, to go anywhere. And there is a path that you can take to get there. You have to see your imagination as a true reality. Number three, decree and declare, I always overcome. And what this does is it shifts your awareness and brings your awareness to the fact that you always overcome. You always overcome. It's just that you may not know that you always overcome, or it may be that you don't have the awareness that you overcome. When you say, decree and declare, I always overcome, this will bring your attention to the fact that you always do overcome. And the more you say this, and the more you decree this over your life, the shorter those issues are that you need to overcome because the way that you're going to go through them is going to be with a different mindset number four you are not your situation you feel your situation think of it like a fever and chills a fever with chills a fever means that there's an increase in your body temperature but yet you're cold you feel cold you're not cold but you feel cold you're feeling something that's not true. So it's possible to actually feel something that's not true. You are not your situation. You are not sick. Your body might be sick, but you are not sick. You feel sick. You feel the sickness of the body, but you yourself are not sick. You can feel broke. You can feel poor. But the truth is that you're not. With any situation, any hardship, it's really that you feel the hardship. You feel something that's not true. And so we need to change our feelings. Change how we feel. Line up how we feel with the truth. Don't use your feelings as a guide. This is not intended to use your feelings as a guide. It's intended for you to guide your feelings. Number five. The future is a continuation of now. The future is a continuation of now. You can't change the future. You can only change now. For any change that you would desire to have, there's a now that would need to change. If there's a change that you would like to have, like to see in your life, something that's different from where you are today, then you need to do that today. Look where you desire to go. And then find something that's in there where you want to go that you can do now with no money, no investment. But there's something that you can do right now that lines you up with where you desire to be. What you do now leads to the future. There's only now and the continuation of now. If you desire a change, then now is the time to do it. I hope this helps.